Hey guys, uh, thanks for tuning back in. Uh, this video is going to be a, a background video to uh, kind of discuss uh, some of my uh, powerlifting past uh, and kind of what led to me being uh, as big as I am now. Um, so we'll just, uh, I guess, start from the beginning on that. So uh, when I was 11 years old, uh, I had a bit of a rough time in school. Uh, I... Um, you know, got picked on quite a bit. I was about four foot eleven, uh, weighed about a hundred pounds if uh, if I was lucky, um, and uh, got kind of picked on by some of the bigger kids, uh, especially kids in the other grades. And um, I didn't have the common sense to just kind of keep my mouth shut because uh, you know I think I, I thought maybe I was six foot four and two hundred eighty pounds of pure muscle or something. Uh, but I would get picked on, and um, sometimes I would say things. Uh, that my uh, body couldn't back up, uh, so I got beaten uh, quite quite a bit, and um, you know I think my father just kind of got uh, tired of that happening. So uh, you know he made a decision that uh, you know maybe I should you know put on a little bit of weight, uh, you know work out a little bit and try to you know at least be able to back some of that up uh, if if I wasn't going to be able to control myself uh, or my mouth. Um, so we uh, we went down to Walmart. And my dad bought me a nice little starter uh, weight set, uh, you know, with the tiny bench and the uh, five-pound bar and the nice plastic and concrete uh, uh, weights. And um, I think there might have been maybe 120 pounds total there. Um, we got it home. We put it together uh, that same day, and my father put 50 pounds on the bar uh, to see if I could lift it. Now, 11 years old and uh, barely 100 pounds, uh, I could not lift uh, the 50-pound bar, not even once. Um, but, uh, you know, I, I thought it was kind of cool. So, uh, and being 11 years old, I had a ton of energy, not a lot of places and things to do with it. So uh, I kind of kept at it. I kept at it. I, I backed it back down. I think I started with 10-pound uh, uh, bench press and just kind of kept working at it. Um, and uh, I got better. I got better. And that was that was an awesome feeling. I, I really enjoyed that Um and so I just kind of kept at it. I just kind of kept at that. Uh, and that, that, was, that was good for a while. That was good for a while. Um, you know, I think I got to be about 12. Um, maybe I was 13 uh, uh, years old. I, and I got to the point where um, we had to go up and wait. We had to buy new bench sets and everything. Um, but I, I, do, uh, I do distinctly remember not being able to get past certain plateaus. And one of the plateaus for me, uh, again, when I was about 12 or 13, was uh, 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 200 pounds. Uh, for whatever reason, I, I just I could not lift 200 pounds. It wasn't possible. I could get 195 pounds. I couldn't lift 200 pounds. Um, and uh, it turned out what the issue was was, was uh, a weight gain, a, a bulk. I needed to go through a bulk. I needed to, to gain some mass. And... Um, uh, I had never done that before. I didn't, this was a foreign concept to me. I thought that you could just lift and and uh, naturally grow stronger without really having to do much much else. Um, but it turned out that wasn't the case, at least not for me, uh, especially at that age. Um, and as you can imagine, at 12 years of age, uh, it's very difficult for a, a boy uh, like me to to gain weight. It was it was hard. Um, so and I didn't really know how to do it, but I knew I needed to. So I just started to eat anything and everything that I could get my hands on. And it didn't matter what it was. I mean, it could be potato chips, uh, burgers, fries, uh, deep fried chicken. I, I didn't care what it was. I was eating it. And it, and it sucked. It wasn't fun. Uh, it, it really, uh, I, you know, it was painful at times. Uh, but I forced myself to do it because I really cared about this lifting, right? I'd gotten pretty good at it. I wanted to be the strongest kid in school, right? So that even if, um, you know, if, even if they were, if, even if my size wasn't enough to, to deter people from picking on me, at least I could pack a wallop if I needed to. Um, so, you know, I, I, I kept doing it. I kept, I kept bulking. I kept eating. I kept doing the things. But I was doing it wrong, right? Um, I was just, I was taking in the wrong types of foods and never really learning to eat correctly, um, you know, so so I, I I did that and it worked. It worked. It was it was fabulous. I, I put on the weight and I was able to. I was working out so much. I was able to convert it to to, to muscle, um, and uh, uh, yeah. By the end of my eighth grade year, uh, I, I was benching well over two hundred pounds, um, which uh, is is hard to do at that age. And um, 
you know, moving into ninth grade, I kept doing it. I kept doing it. Um, you know, ninth grade, I, by the start of ninth grade, I was benching 225 pounds, uh, which is a huge milestone, right? Um, and uh, I think by the end of ninth grade, I was I was up in the uh, 250 or 260 uh, on a bench press, um, uh, which was awesome. And uh, going into tenth grade, uh, you know, I think I got by the end of tenth grade, I was I was near three hundred pounds uh, on a bench press. It was um, you know large gains, right? And part of that's puberty, right? Part of that's puberty, part of that's uh, eating for size, bulking, and and, and, and working out all the time. Uh, it wasn't uncommon for me to, to work out three four hours a day. Um, you know, all pure strength, very, very heavy uh, uh, lifts. Um, you, you know, uh, you know, I wasn't really lifting for for body image. It wasn't bodybuilding. It was definitely uh, powerlifting. And um, you know, by the end of my uh, uh, junior year, I had set a, a state bench press record uh, for my weight class, which was a 169 pound weight class. Uh, and I set that at 365 pounds uh, on a bench press. Um, so you can see how that kind of thing can be uh, very addicting when you're having that kind of success. And so I just continued to shove all this food in my mouth. Uh, it just it had no effect on me, right? Or at least that's how I perceived it. I could just eat whatever it was. It didn't matter how much. I could eat it and I could just go to town, right? And it was awesome. Uh, I had gotten past that point of... of um, not wanting to eat, not uh, really desiring it, uh, that had all gone away. I was just eating like crazy. Uh, but it didn't matter. I was working out so much. Uh, by the end of my senior year, uh, I set another uh, state record in the 183-pound class at a 405-pound bench press. Um, and uh, I just kind of went into college that way. Went into college with that same mentality, just uh, going to town, um, eating everything I could eat. Uh, and, and, and working out all the time, which is fantastic when you have nothing but free time to do it, right? Um, and that's what I had. I had nothing but a lot of free time, and I just used it in the gym. Um, by the end of my uh, uh, college career, I was benching 450 pounds, uh, strict bench. Uh, that's, you know, none of this half-lift crap. Uh, bringing all the way down the sternum, coming all the way up, locking elbow, and uh, re-racking. Um, that was 450 pounds was my personal best ever. Uh, I weighed about 210 pounds then, and um, I was uh, a pretty good, uh, you know, uh, about 15% body fat or so. And uh, I think I have a picture of it. I'll throw it up here on the screen now. And this is me. Uh, I believe I'm 22 or 23 towards the end of my uh, college here. Um, I'm in a bulking phase, but you know, you can tell, uh, even in a bulking phase, I, I have a lot of muscle definition, a lot of mass. Um, I'm benching about 450 here and I'm squatting, uh, I think it was close to 600, uh, uh, squat. So, um, that's, uh, that's a lot, right? Uh, and, and I was very happy with myself, but I was one of these people that thought that, uh, you know, at 23, uh, I could do no wrong, right? I could eat whatever I wanted. It was never going to catch up with me, right? But then I got a job. Then I got a real job. Uh, uh, one of these 40 hour a week um, corporate jobs. And uh, I found that I didn't have a lot of time to work out anymore. Uh, so the workout started to slip a little bit. And um, then eventually went away. But that eating never did. Uh, I kept eating all the bad stuff. And just like I was bulking, um, you know, I was probably taking in 5,000 calories a day. Um, and now I'm 36. So over the last 13 years, uh, I've been eating that way. Um, it doesn't just stop. It doesn't just stop because you stopped working out. I mean, the hunger is still there and you feed it and it's a slippery slope. You know, uh, you pack on 20 pounds and you think to yourself, ah, 20 pounds, man, I'm a power lifter. I mean, I can get 20 pounds off of me. It's not a big deal. Uh, I'll do it when I feel like doing it. And that 20 pounds turns into 40 pounds, turns into 60 pounds, right? Pretty soon you're thinking to yourself, well, you know, it's just a, it's just a little bit of a belly. Uh, I can still get rid of this. Um, you know, 100 pounds in, you, you gave that up, right? That's that's no longer a, a small paunch. That's no longer something that you're thinking about working out on. You're just like, well, you know, I might as well commit to this and be fat. Uh, and that's exactly the mentality I had. Uh, and I just kept eating. And I just kept eating. And I just kept eating. And um, now I'm here at uh, 412 pounds, 
you know, I, I don't really, th thank God, uh, the muscle mass I had built up and, and all of that over the years, uh, I don't have any mobility problems. Uh, I get around just fine. Um, you know, I don't have uh, any, I would say, horrible quality of life issues. Obviously, I got health issues, right? Uh, brought on by the size uh, and things like that, but it's not detrimental at this point. Uh, it's not diabetes or anything like that. So, um, you know, and, and that's good. That's good. But, uh, you know, that's that's kind of why this needs to happen. This needs to happen now. I need to I need to get this weight off. Uh, that's kind of what this channel is all about. Um, you know, if you watch the intro video, uh, you, you know what I'm trying to do with the channel. Um, and I do encourage you to watch that because, um, you know, I'm trying to stay real on point with this. And uh, this will be the only real video I do about my powerlifting past uh, or, you know, kind of what got me to this point. Uh, because I do want those episodes to stay on point. The episodes are about weight loss. It's about my journey through that weight loss and the struggles uh, that come with that and the successes that come with that. But but it's inc it's important to have both, uh, to show both the struggles and the successes. Um, so that's what I'm going to do. Uh, and, you know, I'm hoping that uh, maybe this video gives you a little bit of background and how this kind of thing can happen, how it could happen to other people. Uh, and if this is you uh, and you see this happening, I'm hoping that maybe you can recognize that and, and kind of move past it because, uh, uh, you know, it, it might seem like fun uh, when you're you're eating all the foods you want. You don't have to worry about it. And you're thinking, man, this is great. But as it starts to add up, uh, it gets it gets unfun real quickly, real quickly. So um, anyway. Uh, that's a little bit about me, uh, a little bit about how I got here, some of my powerlifting past and, and, and things like that. So I'm hoping that you enjoyed that. Uh, you know, if you did, please like, um, please subscribe. Uh, I've had a few subscribers in the last day, which is fantastic. Uh, so thank you very much for that. And uh, thank you for your time.